So the next uh, thing we're going to talk about in Audacity is cutting. Um, one thing that might be useful in the editing process of your sound files is to delete or mute sections of a recording. To remove a section of the recording, we can simply highlight an area and then press backspace or delete on the keyboard. So I'm going to zoom in again here, let's say to this chunk of audio. We'll click on Fit Selection to Width so that we've highlighted just this section. Now we can start editing it. Let's say, for example, um, I want to get rid of uh, these six words in this part of the audio recording. Uh, as I mentioned, we can just press backspace or delete on our keyboard, and that should delete them entirely. It doesn't mute them, it just removes entirely what we've selected. So what is the difference? Well, if we wanted to mute them, uh, but keep this area in the audio recording and just have it silent, we can do that as well. Right, so let me just see. Ah, yes, this button here, which is under the um, zoom out button, uh, it's called silence audio selection. So now, with what we've highlighted, if we were to click this button, it would just make it blank. That is to say, the waveform goes blank because we've, remo we've removed the sound at this section. So we scroll a little bit to the left. Um, we can see that the selection we highlighted is completely blank, uh, but we've kept the audio before and after it. Uh, we can actually do the opposite where we make all of the audio outside of our selection blank. So if I were to highlight this section and I wanted to make the rest blank, I could click the button under the zoom in button. So this one here is called trim audio outside selection. So we can click that and what we're left with is just this small bit of the recording. As you can see, it's a very small bit of the recording uh, from our original, I believe 38 and a half minutes we're kept with, uh, we're left with just a few seconds of recording. So let me select that again um, and zoom back in. Ah, uh, yes. So one thing I'd like to mention also is that uh, we can actually select this and then move it along the playback area. So in editing, this might be useful because you might have multiple tracks of audio and you might want to adjust them slightly so that they flow nicely depending on uh, what it is you're editing. So just keep that in mind with a selection. You can click and drag this top part here to move it around. So let's say we do want to just keep this small bit of audio that we've highlighted. We've already deleted the rest, but how can we create a new file that only includes this audio? Well, that's not difficult. Um, first, we're going to zoom back out and we're going to drag this to the front. I just want this bit of audio, but I also want it to start with that bit of audio. Obviously, I don't want several minutes of uh, a blank noise, right? Um, at this point, we can zoom in again and see that the entire recording length is around six and a half seconds. And then we can um, export it. So yeah, once you've uh, started editing your file and you are finished with what you're working on, you're happy with your audio file and you want to edit it, or sorry, you want to export it, uh, you can do so by going to File, Export, and then Export as WAV. So there's actually multiple options you can choose from. MP3 is a smaller file size, but it is compressed audio, not exactly suitable for linguistics typically. Uh, so we're going to stick with WAVE. WAVE is an uncompressed audio file, so you don't lose any quality uh, of the recording after you export it. Um, so now what we want to do is name our audio file. So I'm just going to call it Songa Sample. And then I'm going to click Save. Um, it will pop up with this metadata tag editing window. You can ignore this. Um, this isn't really of much use to linguists because it's talking about editing uh, the name of like an audio track. Say you are recording music, you might want to put your artist name, 
put your track title in there, year, et cetera, genre. Um, but we don't care about this, so we can just leave it blank. So I'm just going to click OK. And the export should be done. I'll just navigate it off screen, navigate to the file we just made off screen, and then I will show you. Great. So I'm looking through my uh, data, uh, some of my recordings and whatnot for uh, this uh, song got work that I've been doing. And uh, I see that I have this new recording we made. So I can load this up in any software that plays back audio. I can even open it up in Audacity. Uh, for now, we'll just open it in VLC. I get one needs that. I get one needs that. I get one needs that. And awesome, it looks like the export was successful. So the audio file that we're left with is called Sangha Sample. It included just the part that we highlighted and the duration is six seconds long. So we weren't left with any blank noise after or beforehand. So that is a very basic example or uh, uh, explanation on how to edit and export audio files. Uh, I think we can move on to the next step here.